everybody, so today I'm going to do this Taylor Swift Inspire tutorial, and it's just a really pretty smoky kind of cat eye that she always likes to do. Um, I kind of like winged out the black to make my eyes look more elongated and more cat-like, and I just have a new lip going on. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial that you're about to see. I'm going to be using this Coastal Sense 88 color eyeshadow palette. This is the regular one without any shimmer. It's matte. And so I already applied some Urban Decay Primer Potion to both of my lids. And I'm just going to take my um, Coastal Sense palette with a flat eyeshadow brush. This is from Eco Tools. And I'm going to get a very light pale um, shade. So I'm just going to get any of these that are like skin color um, to your eye and just pat that all over the lid. Okay, so after that I'm just going to get this little angled um, eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. It's very tiny so it's perfect for what we're about to do. And I'm going to grab this last color which is a matte black. Just a little bit and tap it off because it is very pigmented. Put the brush in the outside of my eye and just work it in like that. And try to make the line like that. And go it go out a little bit. So now you have like a crazy line. And I'm just going to brush it inward to my upper part of my lash line. And just wing it out a little bit. Taylor Swift always seems to have this kind of eye look going on. Um, if it's with eyeshadow or if it's just with some winged out eyeliner. So instead of eyeliner, we are just going to do it with some eyeshadow. And it kind of elongates your eye too. So now what we're going to do is get a little fluffy blender brush and just kind of bring that color in a little bit. And this one is from Coastal Scents. So now I'm going to go back in with my little e.l.f. brush like this. And this time I'm just going to get a shimmery kind of shade for um, the black part. And this is in Night Sky 240. It's a little Maybelline eyeshadow. And this one has some like silver sparkle shimmers in it. So I'm just going to put that in the outer part of my eye. So this is very pigmented as well. And I'm just going to fill it in a little bit. Make it a little bit darker. And drag some of the color in. What we're going for is kind of like a winged eye look. Um, instead of using, let's say, just an eyeliner to wing it out, we're going to do that with just the eyeshadow. And you really want your eyeshadow to be blended in this way, but we still want to make this edge very sharp. So if you want, you could also use tape, but I don't have any tape right now on hand in my room, so I just kind of did it by freehand. And you can also bring it in a little bit to make it more of a defined crease like that. Um, and for a highlight, we really don't even need much of a highlight. I'm just blending out a little bit. But um, I'm just going to get the lightest color in this palette, like a little white. And it's so powdery. Oof. So I'm just going to dust that under my eyebrow and kind of bring it inward. Done with the eyeshadow, so I'm just going to line the upper and bottom of my lash line and my waterline with some Soft Coal by Bremel London. It's just the black kind. And I'm going to put on my eye magnifier um, in 001 Black from Rimmel London, and I'll be back to show you what that looks like. Okay, so I just applied my mascara, and I applied my Rimmel London Soft Coal um, Eyeliner, and I totally forgot this step, but I have some of this black um, shimmer 
and it is from Icing. It says Body Glitter, but I'm going to put some um, on the wing part of our eyeshadow. So you can see all of the glitter that is on my brush. And I'm just going to apply that to this part of my what eye. What I'm going to do is just wipe underneath of my eye for any of the black or sparkle fallout that I may have. And that is the finished eye look. And now I am just going to apply some lip lights from Bonnie Bell and Vanilla in Vanilla Swirl. And she always has a really pretty new lip. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed my tutorial. And I will have some pictures at the end of this and the beginning for you guys to see a better look of it. And I'll talk to everybody soon. Have a good day, guys. Bye.